Good morning, Kick Friends. It's good to be with you again today. And I want to remind you, today is the last day to sign up for Journey to Bethlehem. I don't want you to miss it. So hurry, make sure mom and dad signed you up. Today's that last day and we want to have you signed up because we are preparing so many fun things for you as we count down Christmas. And we have Thanksgiving this week. So how awesome is that to share with our families? Now, I have somebody I want to share with you right here. Okay. This is my mom. This is my mom. She is a gem. Now, there's something really special about my mom. Do you know what it is? She has Jesus in her heart. She's had Jesus in her heart for so long. So, so very long. And people are drawn to her because she is so special. Because she overflows with the love of Christ. Just people get near her can feel it in the Sometimes don't even understand it, but she has so much love of Jesus in her heart that it's amazing to see. You know, she had gotten sick a while back and she was at the hospital and her room at the hospital room was always filled with people. They always wanted to gather and be close to her. Even the nurses and the doctors, they love coming to see her because she was just amazing when she was in the hospital. But anyway, I want to share a little bit more about her because she is very ill. And so she's on her last days as she's battled cancer. And you know what? She's amazing. Do you know why she's so amazing? Because even as she lays in her bed, she still wants to make sure the birthday cards are sent out. And the phone is right there next to her because if somebody calls and needs to talk to her, she wants to be there to hear what they have to say and to love on them and encourage them. And so she is so amazing. And she's been a blessing, but she is getting ready for her trip to heaven. She's packing her bags. She's excited. She wants to see her mom and her dad and her brother and her sister. She wants to see all her friends and her neighbors that she's been missing for many, many years. And so she's packing her bags. Does that mean she needs her toothbrush and her pillow and her clothes? No, she's on a journey, but it's not those things that she needs. She already has what she needs. It's right here. She's got Jesus, and he walks her through each day. And she talks to him, and he talks to her. And you know what? She can't wait to celebrate in heaven. But there's one important thing. Oh, she wants you to know something before she goes. And so I am going to speak for her today and give you this message. Are you ready? Okay. So, I got the black bag here, right? What's in this black bag? Let me reach in. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Tootsie Rolls. A bag of Tootsie Rolls. Can you see those? Yeah. Well, what's up with the Tootsie Rolls? Let's see. Is it a Tootsie Roll? Let's open it up. All right, I'm going to try to open it up. He like drew without his thumbs last week. Okay, so there's the Tootsie Bowl. Now, if I break it in half, it's the same inside. It's dark, right? Well, the Tootsie Bowl, this Tootsie Bowl represents the things that we do wrong, the sin. And see, when we don't have Jesus in our life, it's all the way through the middle the same you see that? And that is not good. And the reason why that is not good is because sin keeps us far away from God. He's so holy that we can't get close to them, or close to him, when we have tootsie roll through us. Okay, that darkness, that gloominess, the sin 
keeps us away from Jesus. So what happens? God sends his son, right? So let's see. Let's see what's in here. Ah, the red bag. Has a hundred grand for it. You know why? Because you are worth so much that God sent his one and only son. Thank you. He did. Because he loved you that much that he would pay anything, anything, so that you could be with. Okay, so God sends his son, Jesus, to pay the price for me, for you. Okay. Isn't that something? I can't even imagine. So, then comes the white bag. What could be in the white bag? Ooh. Work peppermint powder. Why would that be in the white bag? Hmm. Let's take a look at the peppermint patty. I really like peppermint patties too. Ooh. Okay. There's a big peppermint patty. So, let's see. Look. Do you see? Now, God sent his son Jesus. To die on the cross to pay for your sins. So that you see the inside of that? Pure as snow. He washed away your sins. And now you're pure as snow. Does that mean you sin no more? No. Do you see that brown on the outside? No, because we are imperfect. We are imperfect. And we make mistakes. But we can ask for forgiveness and be cleansed white as snow. So we are. Right? Mm, and that smells good too. Okay, so let's look at the green bag. Now that we're cleansed white as snow and ask for forgiveness. Oh, and the green bag is extra. Extra. What's the extra for? It's doing the extra now. Jesus, your friend, what is the extra that you need to do now that Jesus is your friend? Well, you can go to church or watch church online. You can spend time praying to your friend Jesus. Right? And you can go and read out of your Bible. Those are the extra things you can do to get closer to your best friend. Now, in here, I have to read in here. We have Romans 9, verse 10, and that's in the New Testament. And you know what it says in here? It says that if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Right there. It's in your Bible. Okay. So, there's one more bag. A yellow bag. Now, what did that yellow bag represent? Let's see what's in there. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. You know what's in there? Mr. Goodbar. Now, you know why Mr. Goodbar's in there? It's to remind you that that good, do you see that? Mr. Good. We can't earn our way to heaven. No matter how much good we do, we cannot earn it. Accept Jesus in your heart. Ask for forgiveness from your sins. Believe that he died for you on the cross. And you are right. Yeah. And that's the message of my walk. Yeah. 
want you to know. Because she loves you and has me too. She told me. So I don't know if I will do it. Thank you, dear Heavenly Father, for those that already believe. Help them to grow in their hearts closer to you and their relationships to be stronger and bonded through just so many ways in their life. Thank you for loving us. If you don't have Jesus in your heart and you want Jesus in your heart, then just raise your hand up to the Father and say, Jesus, I'm a sinner. I've done some things that are wrong. I know that you have sent Jesus to die on the cross and rise again for me. Thank you, God, for forgiving me for my sins. Thank you for coming into my heart. I want to have a relationship with you. I want to follow you. I want to learn how to follow you. Thank you for what you've given me and what you do in my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great week, friends. Happy Thanksgiving.